everyone, I'm Dottie Stitching Scotty and welcome to Flossmas 18. Today is December the 18th. Wow, time is flying by and it's only seven days and I'm still not through shopping. Oh dear. But anyway, let's forget about all that and we'll talk about cross stitch and Christmas trivia. Okay, uh, today I have a free pattern for everyone and it's from Franny Richer designs and it's called Ba Hat, okay? And look at that, it says Merry Christmas, Grumpy Head. Isn't that cute? Now they've made that, but the little hat says Ba. So you can put it with a tag, you can make it as a Christmas ornament, uh, give it to somebody that's a curmudgeon for Christmas, <laughs> you know, give it to your boss, you know, if he won't let you off work. Yeah, so you're just being a Scrooge, Ba. So anyway, I will link that below. I just thought that was just so cute and it's really quick because there's not much of it. And this one's done, I think, on uh, perforated paper or you can do it on fabric, either one. But it'd be easy to do on perforated paper and cut out a piece of felt or something and put around it. Okay, <clears throat> we have two finished objects, finally finished, well, fully finished from the past. And if you've watched my floss tube, you may have seen this one. This one is in the meta, you can build a snowman. And this is from Shepherd's Bush. It's a free pattern, which I will link below to their website so you can buy the button. You have to buy the button though, the little hat for the sheep, so you can get the pattern for free. Isn't that cute? And this is Picture This Plus Angola or something like that. It begins with an A. But anyway, I thought it was so cute. It's 32 count. And believe it or not, it's on one of those summer blocks, but it, the blue just happened to just fit and all that cute little uh, Mexican themed stuff. I think it said holy guacamole or something like that, or I like guacamole. And uh, yeah, I just thought that was really cute. And it's two over two, the back stitch is one, one strand. So, uh, and there was a little bit of back stitch, but that's okay, it's pretty and we like it. Lots of white though. Mm, yeah, so anyway, that's one of my favorite stitches and I'll leave that out the rest of the winter. So <clears throat> the next one we have is also a shepherd's bush. I'm on this shepherd's bush kick evidently. And this one's called Ho 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 and it was a little kit. And if you watched my floss miss yesterday, you might recognize the frame. Yet again, I'm using the same identical frame. Um, and this is Santa in his sleigh with the gifts and it's over 10 count tulip, and I used all the call for threads because they were included with the kit. It's really cute, and I think these are still available too, and it was so easy and quick, and it was something good to work on in the car or at night, so that's good, and I used three strands over one square, so there you go. I wanted to make sure you saw it because I've noticed a lot of people lately, they must be in a hurry because who isn't? And they just go and I'm like, oh, I didn't see that. <laughs> so I either have to back up, you know, stop stitching and back up and go look. So if you are a floss tuber, please hold your stuff up just a little bit longer. And if I'm not holding mine up long enough, please let me know because I aim to please. All right, our Christmas trivia from yesterday was, hmm. Not on that card. Um, in a Charlie Brown Christmas, how many cents does Lucy charge for her psychiatric services? You know, she's got the little booth above her and it says five cents. Most all of you got that one. So everybody must be a Charlie Brown uh, fan. Okay, and the other one is Oh dear, tell me I forgot it. Hmm. Hold that thought. Oh yeah, okay, okay, okay. All right, in what Santa Claus movie, Santa Claus the movie, what was the name of the inventor elf in Santa Claus the movie? And this movie, I have not seen very much, but I've seen it a couple of times. And the little guy was Patch. 
and I can't think of the actor's name, but he was very memorable and he was very little humble elf. Very cute, but it was Patch. I don't think hardly anybody got that one because that movie is just not well known. Okay. Um, okay, here's one. What color are collie birds? Collie, C-O-L-L-Y. I hope I'm saying that right. What color are collie birds? That's next times. And I Heard the Bells on Christmas Day was based on a poem written during what American War? So I Heard the Bells on Christmas Day was based on a poem written in what American War? So those are our two hard er uh, trivia questions, sorry. Okay, all right, so let's see. <laughs> okay, all right, now let's go to some stash, okay? So, Satsuma Street, I bought the Candy Claws several years ago, and it's a complete little kit. It has a perforated paper with it and all the sequins and flosses. So hopefully I'll get to start that one soon. That one's really, really cute. And then this one I saw, and when I saw it, I was like, oh my gosh, this is just the cutest thing. This is from Bendy Stitchy, and it's called Trimming the Tree. And this little snowman, snowman is just the cutest thing. So evidently, the, either the wind is blowing or the tree is talking to the snowman. But I tend to think that the wind is blowing. But I thought that was really, really cute. It's going to be another picture with a lot of white, but that's okay. And they did this one on 32 count nocturne from Picture This Plus. But it says, this snowman is doing his best to decorate his tree for the holidays. It's quite windy outside, but that's okay because now he can reach the tall branches. So I guess it was the wind. Okay, so, <clears throat> all right. Uh, I guess I better show you my work in progress before I forget. Okay, this is one that I didn't, uh, I thought I had shown it, but I had not. And this is a hands-on design, 25th, it's a block party design. And I plan on doing the block, okay? Well, I'm currently doing the block. But it's gonna be a finish as a block. And I've got the pins and the wool. See the little pins here? And then I've got the little wool piece that goes on top. The pins were extra. You had to buy those extra, but I thought, well, that just makes it, you know? Because it's just so cute when it says 25th. So anyway, <clears throat> My plan when I first started was to do one reindeer every day, and I was gonna have this finished in two weeks. Ha, ha, ha. So there you go. I've got Dasher, Dancer, Prancer, and Vixen we're working on. So there you go. So you see I worked on this like four days. And this one's on a Vintage Country Mocha, and it's 32 count. And I'm using the call four threads. Um, and for once, I had all of them. So that was a real shock. So I'm gonna hold this up again. And that's what I've got done. The little reindeer were just so, so cute. Now I know uh, Prancer doesn't have a white belly yet, but he's gonna get one. So, all right. So there is that one. This is a big piece of cloth too. Um, so need to do some more work on that because it's not gonna get done before Christmas unless I just have an epiphany and yeah, I just start stitching. Okay, last but not least, let's open our stitchy box. Okay, this is day 18. My little boxes are getting smaller and smaller and smaller. Oh. Quilt fabric for finishing. Finish a little Christmas or wintry project with this fun fabric. Hmm, nice. And it's good size for a pillow. 
and I'm all the time needing fabric that looks Christmassy because I go and I'm like, oh, I don't have that. I wanted to do such and such, but I don't have that. So anyway, thank you so, so much. Stitchy Box has been very good this year with finishing things. Okay, day 18, the nice list box has a box. And of course, I've opened this one, pre-opened it, not looked, but pre-opened so I don't have to struggle because yesterday it was a struggle. Oh, how cute. Mm. Oh my goodness. I think it's something to eat. It says chocolates unlimited, molded chocolate, sugar. Mm. Oh, all kinds of good stuff that you're not supposed to have. So look at that. Doesn't that look, ooh, sorry about the glare. Doesn't that look yummy? Mm, I can see five or 10 pounds coming from that. Yay. All right, okay. Well, that's it for today. Just remember, I heard the bells on Christmas day was based on a poem written during what war, what American war, that's one trivia question. And the other one is what color are collie birds? What color are collie birds? C-O-L-L-Y, in case I mispronounced it. All right, and I will link your free pattern below, and I will link Shepherd's Bush uh, website below so you can go and hopefully um, buy that or find it at your local needle workshop. And, um, oh, the one thing I forgot to do. Oh, let me do this. I said I'd show them last. Okay, I got this beautiful Merry Christmas card. And I thought it was so pretty. And I opened it up and it had the sweetest message. Uh, it says, may the wonder of the holiday fill your home and heart. Thank you so much, Heidi. She was one of my first followers. Thank you so, so much. All right, and then here's one. When they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceeding great joy. Matthew 2.10. Isn't that beautiful? And I got this nice Christmas letter that kept me up on what her family was doing and what she was doing. And this is my friend, Jane. And she's been with me since the very, very first floss tube. Thank you, Jane. That means so, so much to me. And I will keep your family in my prayers. All right. And it was good to hear about everything going on. Then the next one is from a really good friend that I met at Friend Stitch, and she said, I saw this little dog and I thought of you. Look at that, isn't it cute? Almost looks like Stryker, doesn't it? Just, his face is a little plumper. But anyway, she says, sending warmest Christmas wishes to you and your family, and thank you so, so much, Joanne. You are so, so sweet, you and your sister Maria. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I think of y'all often too. I think of everybody often. Then I got this from my daughter. It was a little thinking of you card because I've been having a rough time lately and she just wanted to cheer me up. So thank you, Jeanette. It's greatly, greatly appreciated. And Roger too. <laughs> oh my goodness. I don't know what I'd do without my children. They're just wonderful. Well, I wish y'all a Merry Christmas and just think seven days. Oh my goodness. So until tomorrow, y'all have a happy day stitching and watching floss tubes and floss misses. Bye-bye. <laughs>